Alright guys, HPFC here, and welcome to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Of course, the sequel to my all-time favourite game, The Legend of Zelda Greener of Time. This is my second favourite Legend of Zelda game, I'll have to say. I just think it's absolutely incredible. I mean, it's quite a bit different to the Zeldas. I mean, for one, it's very dark. The darkest Zelda game has ever been. I mean, there's a really dark, creepy, and pretty depressing tone to this game. It is it is a bit different, and I'll admit, I wasn't carried away with this game as a kid. I mean, I remember being super excited for it. I got it for Christmas in 2000. I think I'm about 11 years old at this point. And of course, I was insanely excited for it. It was an ex Zelda game. But as I was playing it, it I, I don't know, it just... I didn't really understand the game, it, it wasn't what I wanted, I didn't really like the dark tone and the mechanics of it, I was playing it all wrong, I was missing content, I was screwing up and no, I was massively disappointed, it took me a long time to beat, I, I don't think I beat this game until two, maybe three years after it released and I kind of had to keep forcing myself to go back to it, but as I've returned to this over the years and now as, as an adult, I've come to love it more and more. Everything I didn't like as a kid, I absolutely love now, and I won't, I won't have it any other way. I love how dark it is, and the music, to me, hands down the best in the history of Zelda. It's just an incredible game that has, it's just grown on me so much over the years. I think it's fantastic. So, yeah, we'll let this intro scene play out, and then we will begin. So enjoy. Alright, here we go. Let's begin the darkest Zelda game ever made. The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. Here we go.
Oh, god damn it. That thieving little bugger. Not only has he stole a pawner, but he's nicked the Ocarina of Time. So, that's not good. Well, let's get after the little bastard. And that Skull Kid right there, that is indeed the same Skull Kid from Ocarina of Time uh, in the Lost Woods. And that's him. Alright, so showing the controls, we don't need that. But oh, check Link out. Here at time, we've got some new moves. Well, things just went from bad to worse. Not only has he lost Pawn at the Ocarina of Time, he's now been somehow transformed into a Deku Scrub. Look at this. I remember not being too fond of this as always a kid. That was like, oh, what, I'm a Deku Scrub? I don't be a Deku Scrub. But don't worry, we're not going to stay like this forever, obviously. But look how sad he looks. So you can't really use most of your gear, so you can't use your uh, sword or shield, obviously. We have got this little spin attack. I mean, this is equivalent of a shield. A little shell we got right here. But not really much else we can do. You know, this damn fairy wants us to uh, help her out. Even though she played a part in it, she was with the school kid. Right, 
tattle. The other one's tail. <laughs> Look how Link just looks into the camera like, really? Really? What's going on with my life? So yeah, um... Tattle's gonna be our uh, partner for the game. The replacement for uh, Navi. Thankfully not quite as annoying. But yeah, something we can do is a uh, uh, Deku Scrub. You can uh, shoot yourself out with those little flowers there and glide for a few seconds. Which the game is going to have us do here to get used to the mechanic. Go from platform to platform. So yeah, this is the uh, 3DS version. Um, I did. I wanted to do the N64 version, but I just had problems, you know, trying to get it at a higher resolution, and a decent frame rate. Tried different emulators, and this wasn't really having much much success. So I, I had to go to 3DS, and I think the N64 version is is a superior version, uh, unfortunately, because the the kind of well in the Ocarina of Time um, 3D 3DS version. They basically just left that game alone, you know, they increased the frame rate and redid the textures, but other than that, it was exactly the same game. With this, they kind of mess with some stuff and change some stuff, and I wish they hadn't have done that. I don't know why, but a lot of it's for the worse, really. But, you know, it, it's still obviously an awesome game, but I would recommend it if you, if you can play the original version. Um, play that, you can get it on the, it's on the eShop, isn't it? Uh, well, the virtual console on Wii, and I think Wii U. And there is a GameCube version actually as well, I think, it came on a compilation disc with some of the others. But it is the better version, at least in my opinion, anyway, some might disagree with me, but. Anyway, on we go. So, here we got some, um. Dick and Nuts there. They work pretty much the same way as they did in, um. Ocarina of Time. Oh crap. Botch that up. <laughs> that was lucky. Yeah, okay. This is still annoying, don't get me wrong, just not Navi annoying. Well, thank you. Yeah, it is quite sad. So look at it. Look at that. It's kind of freaky and sad at the same time. Sums up this game quite well, actually. Just this image, just gloomy, and sad, and dark, <laughs> and I love it. I really do. Music, absolutely beautiful. The music in this game is just—it's phenomenal. It, it just fits so well. It's, it's all pretty dark and creepy, but oh, it's just—it's perfect. It's damn perfection. Where the hell are we anyway? What is this place? <laughs> and there it is. The infamous line. And look here it is. It's the creepy mask salesman from Hyrule Town. Yes, it's him. He's back. <laughs> yeah, we remember we met. Back in Hyrule, I sold your masks for you. Well, you probably don't recognise me now. I'm a freaking uh, Deku scrub. Yeah, that's got to be the skull kid he's talking about. Yeah, well, I lost a freaking horse in an ocarina. Creepy. Oh, 
Okay, now he's talking. Three days, huh? <laughs> okay, okay, so again, this is a uh, inclusion with the 3DS version, the uh, Shiga Stones. Like the were in Ocarina of Time, uh, 3D, it is there if you absolutely suck at these games that tell you where to go. Shame on you if you have to use these. <laughs> Alright, so we cut a deal. We get the mask back off the Skulls Kid and he'll turn us back into, well, to a human. How hard can it be? Look at those masks going in right there. Oh, creepy. Look at that Mario one. Almost looks like an Elvis one there at the bottom uh, left. What else has he got? Oh god, very creepy. Very creepy indeed. Well, he's a creepy man, so anyway. Oh, no, I've just... You've seen me. I've not even left the... Two hours. Okay. Well, off we go. The adventure begins. Dawn of the first day. Seventy-two hours remain. Oh, it's South Clock Town. And that first shot there of that clock tower, that was the first screenshot I ever saw of this game back in Nintendo magazine. I think it was called named uh, was it Zelda Gaiden it was called? I think it was a Japanese screenshot as well. Gives everyone the creeps. The great fairy, yeah? Is that so? Alright, so we're looking for the great fairy. Now yes, there is a timer throughout this game. You got three days. Now this was a uh, mechanic a lot of people didn't like back in the day and I didn't like it. I didn't really understand it. I kept running out of time. But I, I love it now. Once you know it works, I think it's awesome and I, I think it, it fits the game because it sort of it adds to the whole, the whole panic. You know, and this impending doom with the game. So you can see the, the timer's going pretty uh, fast there. For this first section right here at the beginning of the game, I think you've got exactly 32 minutes to get your business done. After that, you'll have, I think, 54 minutes is equivalent to a day. So, but there's things we can do later on to, you know, help us out a little bit. Quite a bit later. So yeah, this is uh, the main town here, Clock Town. It's split up into sections. North, we're in south right now, east and west. In the corner we, over there, we've got the laundry pool. Let's have a little chat. Let's familiarise ourselves with this place. So, yeah, it's all the same uh, character models from um, Hyrule. They reused all the assets. One of the reasons is because they actually kind of rushed developing on this game, believe it or not. Uh, they, I think they made it in, what, a year? So, yeah, it's amazing how how good it turned out to be, even though it was rushed. But, I mean, to quickly sum up the story, as it said at the beginning, you know, obviously Link left Hyrule. I just, guess he just wanted to put the hero stuff behind him, but he was searching for an invaluable friend. I remember always thinking that was Zelda for a while. And I remember in a magazine leading up to release the game, they presumed it was Zelda as well. It's not, it's Navi he's looking for, which would make much more sense. Cause she left, you see, in the scene at the end of Ocarina of Time, 
And only knows where Zelda is. You know, she's in Hyrule Castle. She's the princess. Who's this fella here? Person scrub. But yeah, uh, obviously, I don't know where he was when he got attacked by the school kid, but as he chased him, he ended up, this is basically like a, a parallel universe to Hyrule, so. Hey, come on, buddy, we're the same species now, pretty much. What carnival is he on about? A moon's tear. Well, I haven't got one. I don't know what one is. Sorry, buddy. Cannot help you. Yeah, well... Okay, he's got attitude, hasn't he? Alright, attitude. Little red pulse boxes you can find here. Don't need to concern ourselves with these at the moment. There's quite a lot of um, side stuff uh, for this game as well. More than the Ocarina of Time. What do you want? Yes, we're going to the Great Fairy. I know, I know! Let's go this way. West Clock Town. We've got a few stores here. I mean, we are a bit pressed for time, so we can't be wandering everywhere. We'll, we'll see everything in the future. Of course, I'm going to, obviously, 100% this game do everything there is to do. Like I did with Ocarina of Time. I think uh, this is the uh, swordsman's place we'll visit in the future, and that's the that's the post office, isn't it? I think they changed some of the locations for this version as well, actually. Now, we cannot leave. If we try to leave, the guard's going to be like, Yo, what are you playing at? He's going to say, It's dangerous! He ain't gonna let you pass. You can actually glitch past him, but we're not gonna do that. Hello there. The bombers. Oh, yeah. I'm interested about talking to the kids. If you go to the square at East Clock Town at night, you can see one. It's it's too up to reach, though. Oh, okay. Here comes a postman. It's the uh, running man from our Green of Time in the field. I think I accidentally called him the postman, didn't I, at some point during that walkthrough? So I was thinking of this game. What was he just delivered? Put the little letter in there, hadn't he? Well, he's a postman, so. Well, he wouldn't have put a letter in there, he'd have collected a letter, wouldn't he? Would have made more sense. Two laughing guys, Ocarina of Time. This is East Clock Town. Hey, up! I recognize you, Long Long Ranch. Oh, these little kids. The secret cord. I don't know the cord. Chances of being able to guess that chord, very slim, because there's a uh, possible 120 uh, different combinations for that chord, so good luck with that. Anyway, what have we got in here? The Mayor's Official Residence. Hello, green-haired girl. Okay, let's go in here then. Just to jump to open the uh, door. Oh no, no, I don't want to go in here. Is that a Zora right there? A oh, big Zora fish. Looks like King Zora. What about in here? Oh! What is happening right now? Ok, 
guess that's the mayor. The moon will fall. Carnival. and the moon falling. Anyway, oh, little model of Clock Town right there. So. We actually look up, there is the moon. And yes, the moon is actually falling. For three days. This is not just about the, uh, Happy Mask Salesman leaving, the moon is going to fall and destroy and kill everyone. That's the kind of the theme of this game, impending doom, death, the end. <laughs> I never really thought this game was real suitable for kids, to be honest with you. Anyway, if we go over here, we find a little owl statue. So this is where you be able to uh, save your game. It's different. I forgot. It's been a while since I've touched the original version, but it, it's different. I don't think savings is straight from this. Might be one of the slightly better things they did is the saving. I think it's a bit more of a pain in the arse in the original. But yeah, we can just go up to these and save. Uh, it's not like a good time where you can just save at any point by pressing start or whatever. You've got to go to these statues which you'll find throughout the land. So yes, we'll go ahead and save. Alright. So anyway, uh, that's going to do it uh, for this first part here. Um, well, next time we'll see if we can find the Great Fairy, stop the Skull Kid, get the mask, give it to that wee mask dude and, you know, get back to being a human and, you know, all the good stuff, hopefully. So, uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.